Uh, felt good to get a win. Man. We needed that bad first one at home. We got a quick turnaround on Monday, so we need to get help. Mike? Yeah, Janelle, just late. Um, second half was so tough offensively for you guys. Um, how did you guys stay locked in mentally? And can you kind of walk us through a little bit? Kind of that final sequence with Dre and kind of what the plan was with that play. Uh, we, we've been talking about being the same team. You know, we started off in the 12-0 run. So when they make their run, we got to be the same team. We can't, we can't let our morale shift with the score. So I think we held on to our morale tonight. And the times we got hard, we stayed together and pulled one up. And just to, to, you guys call that second timeout late. Is after that final timeout, is it just you're getting the ball to him and kind of letting him decide it? What was kind of talked about in that time? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, that, that was definitely a play. Uh, Get it to me, get it back to Dre, and make a play, and he did that. He's a big-time big player. Here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you think you guys learned uh, really well in the first half that sort of let you get a 21-point lead that you then got away from and let Columbia back, and get, uh, back in? Uh, I think our energy died for a bit, and then with energy, the focus went for a bit. But then when we regained our focus, we were able to you know, maintain the game a little better. And then we got some great looks, I feel like, didn't fall, which would have made a big difference. And, and like I said, in the end, we, we, we rallied, we stayed together, and it worked out for us. Sir? Okay. Going into the second half, Columbia made their run. What did coach tell you guys to keep you composed so you guys uh, wouldn't give up as they were making their run? Uh, just be the same team. Be that same team who was up 21. You know, just, like, things not always going to go in your favor. Files, shots might not go in. But if you can maintain that energy, that focus, and that camaraderie, you're going to be hard to beat. You know, I think this, I think coaches mentioned a lot just uh, the idea of like, this group learning how to win. And in a game where you guys shot really well in the first half, and you still got quality looks in the second, but they just weren't falling. Is this a situation where you kind of learn, hey, look, just keep doing what we're doing, stick with the plan, because you're getting to the spots you want to get to and something's going to go right? No, absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, we can't control, we can control the execution, we can't control shots falling all the time, we can't control referees, we can't control what the other team is doing, we can just stick to what we know. So I think tonight was a great game for us because we had some highs, we had some lows, and to win a game when you're when, with a, a mixture of the two, I think it was a great, a great step for us, a great step. Okay. That was me. You, yeah. you mentioned a pretty quick turnaround in the game Monday. Um, what do you guys have to try to clean up? What do you have to do to try to prepare to play an ACC team on Monday? I think everything starts with energy. Like, obviously, guys are going to be a little banged up you know, one day in two games. But if everybody can bring the energy that they do have and we can stay together, I think we got a chance against anybody. So as long as we walk in the book, BC with the energy and together, we'll be in great shape. How badly did you guys need this one tonight coming after uh, that really tough loss in the Ah, I want to say definitely. We might have been the closest thing to it. Okay. We, we really needed this one. Especially the uh, first one at home. Uh, the crowd was great. Loved the energy, the excitement when the final buzzer went off. Like, we definitely needed that feeling. I think guys got to gotta, gotta feel what it feels like to win. And that's always great for a lot of people. Nothing.